I'm going to go over installing these speed engineering uh, headers for the 14 to 18 GM trucks, the K2 XX models. First thing you're going to need to do is get your floor jack or something to support the tail shaft of the transmission right here. Once that's done, you can remove this cross member. Two bolts right here, two more just like it on the other side, and one right here in the middle, I believe is a 15 millimeter nut. And then that'll allow you just to drop the whole cross member out. And of course, that will allow you to remove the factory Y pipe. Three bolts on each side of each cast iron manifold and the Y pipe will drop right out with the catalytic converters. It's heavy, so it looks like looks like it'd be light as a feather. It's not, so just be aware. And you can get it out without having to jack up the truck. At least I was able to. You can drag it out. All right. Next thing you want to do is go into your truck, get the seat belt, and wrap it like this. The reason we're doing that, we're going to remove the, the steering shaft and if, once the steering shaft is removed, it'll allow the steering wheel to free wheel. If it gets around there, it'll break your clock spring inside there, and you'll have to rip the whole uh, steering column apart to fix it. So do that. After your steering wheel is locked, go ahead, remove the, the steering shaft, this piece. Bolt here, bolt down there, pull them both out, jiggle, it'll come right out then that'll allow you to be able to remove the heat shields. There's three bolts in the heat shield on each side, three 10 millimeter bolts. Remove the heat shield off of the manifold. That'll give you some more room when you remove the boots from each spark plug. And if it was me, I would just go ahead and take this cover off, remove the wires from the coil packs also. I don't want to risk damaging your brand new wires. So once that's done, that will allow you to remove the, the manifold, the cast iron manifold. It's going to come right out, drops right out the bottom, and then you'll be able to slide your driver's side header in from the top. It doesn't come in from the bottom, it comes in from the top. So just it'll go right in. You don't have to remove the spark plugs or anything like that. Once that's done, you can just go ahead and you know, tighten up your... I would leave your, your header bolts loose until you're for the final tightening. And then, but you can go ahead and put your steering shaft back in and then undo your seatbelt so you don't forget. Over here, this side, these are the heater hoses. There's a little bracket right here. Squeeze these in, this whole thing will pop up. It'll allow you to slide it out of the way. You can get to your bolts a lot easier. This side, uh, yeah, take your heat shield off. You don't have to remove anything before you take the heat shield off. Just three 10 millimeter bolts, it'll pop right off, and then that'll allow you to unbolt your your uh, passenger side manifold. Drop it out and put your header on. That's it. Tighten it up and reverse. So, and I would, like I said, I would leave them all loose until you get your Y pipe and everything situated, then you come back and tighten them all down. Um, what else can I say? I reused my factory bolts. I didn't use the little ones that were in the bag. They just didn't look like they're high quality. So I, did, I didn't, uh, that's the only thing that's not high quality. These headers are, are well worth the money. I, my hat's off to to uh, speed engineering for offering a good product at a very good price point. Sure beats paying, you know, twelve or fourteen hundred dollars for a set of, you know, quote, quality headers. These are very good headers for the price. Nice flick, you know, thick, straight flange. You know, everything's real true on them. Good welds. Very, very good, very good product. Um, oh yeah, you know, I reused my factory bolts. Um, you know, it said you needed two O2 extensions. I only needed one. I don't remember which side I didn't really need it on. I don't know if it was the passenger or the driver, but the, uh, the connector was up on a little bracket, and I could have just easily just, uh, you know, removed the little, little uh, connector from the bracket, and, you know, it would have fit just fine. But I, when, I think you can save money by just, you know, if you want to, just buy one, one extension. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what else to... To say I know in another video I said that this crossover leaked and it doesn't if you just put enough torque on it I put the band clamp back on and really tightened it tight to where I thought it was going to shear it but it it didn't shear and it, it sealed it right up so no more leaks just be careful I mean I don't know what to tell to tell you not to over tighten I mean it's just <laughs> I guess it's either tightened or over tightened there's not really a, a happy medium it's just got to be careful I guess but uh, 
that's it, no leaks or anything. So, very, very good product. I can't, wish I could tell you which extension that you don't really need. I think it may be the one on the other side. I don't know, maybe you can tell by this. I don't know, but I only needed one. They're both on here, but really, you only needed one extension. I put these Moog Poly Ear thing sway bar bushings in too. Those are only six dollars on Amazon. Well worth the upgrade from the rubber. Very easy to do. Six bucks and six minutes worth of time. That's it. Very good product.